Good morning. Um, so I just woke up and saw the drunk text that I sent my ex-boyfriend last night. Oh my god, what the fuck was I thinking? You know what? Let me go freshen up because I just woke up and I'll be back with the full school because... Wow. Like, I can't believe that I was that, that horny and that drunk that I would text my ex, like my first ever boyfriend. I can't believe myself. Okay, so... <laughs> Welcome to my channel. Um, for those of you who do not know me, my name is Z, and this is my channel where I just tell you guys what the heck's happening in my life right now. So, as you guys are new to my channel, this is my haven, the car. Um, inside the Mercedes. I don't know Mercedes what, but yeah, I'm inside a car right now, and I'll be doing some more videos from this car because this is my safe haven. Like, this is the only place where I get to be alone, where I get to be unbothered during this whole fucking pandemic shit okay okay so as we move on to story time can you guys please excuse how crusty i look right now because i do not look like i wanna look but anyway i just had to get on to the story like before we became old and also it's quarantine no one has time to go to the barber and cut their hair and i'm not planning on cutting my hair anytime soon so just deal with it Okay, so yesterday, um, my neighbor pulls through with alcohol, right? He's sexy as fuck. So I've been admiring this guy for like the past two years, you know? So yesterday, I finally shoot my shot, but then I found out that he's married. Okay, fine. Um, he invited me over to his house, and we were drinking, and we were chilling, and we were getting to know each other, right? So, fast forward to the night time, because it was like 1 p.m. by the time I started drinking. Fast forward to night time, um... I get a text from my ex, right, saying, hey, but the weird part is, I sent him a text last year on the 1st of May, 2019. So I was confused as to why is he only replying on the 31st of May, 2020. So he sends me this text via um, Messenger, Facebook Messenger, right? So I replied back, hey, and I'm like, oh wow, why are, you why are you replying only like after a year? And his reply was, because I was not sure who's this. And I was like, oh, so you know me now? And he was like, yeah. Fine, okay, we, we, we conversated. Um, I can't really remember the conversation. I was like, what the actual fuck was I thinking? So in the midst of this whole conversation we're having, right? Um, he goes and asks me, what do you do right now? Like, what are you busy with? So I tell him that I'm a student. And I'm also busy with, you know, um, finding my foothold in my career, like my radio job at Madiba's Radio, as well as my other jobs that I have, which are undisclosed. So he goes on and asks me, he tells me that, okay, so you, you want to buy me daughter then? And I'm like, shook, sure, like, when did we get there? And he's like, and I ask him, why must I buy your daughter? He's like, because you got a job and I haven't seen you in a while. He says that, like, in a flirtatious way, right? So, I don't know, maybe I was drunk, I was reading too much into it. So fine, I buy him the data, right? It's what's a data which costs around 30 bucks, right? So I buy him that. And, okay, fine. We move our conversation from Messenger over to WhatsApp, right? So I'm like, okay, this is Z. And I was like, okay, cool. I'm like, okay, so I'll put you down and at least you can text your girlfriends. And he's like, nah, I don't have girlfriends and all that shit, blah, 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 blah. So, which brought me to my question. I asked him, um, do you date girls? And he said, yes, why? And I was like, no, nah, I'm just asking. And then a few minutes later, I came back and I was like, I'm just asking because of the things you were doing back then. And he was like, oh shit. Silapo, like, are you still there? And I'm like, Nah, I'm not there as in I'm into you, I'm there as in I grew up, you know, with that thing because you're my first boyfriend and I'm gay. And he's like, oh, so you don't sleep with girls? Shame. What the actual fuck? What the actual fuck? So I asked him, so you're straight now? And he's like, yeah. I, I date girls now. 
Part of the thing I couldn't understand of him saying he was straight was how throughout the whole conversation I was I was flirtatious towards him and he was flirting back and in my head if I flirt with you and you flirt back it means you're catching the signals that I'm sending to you and you are sending me the same signals and if you're not if you're reciprocating the same signal it definitely means something else regardless whether you're straight, bi, heterosexual, whatever the fuck it is Okay, so in all honesty, I was like hurt when he told me that he was straight and was not long. He was not dating guys. But then, thinking back right now, I'm realizing that it's always been that way. Even when we were together, it was in the closet. So everything that we were doing was a secret, except to his cousins. So in my head, I'm like, I'm I'm, I'm bothered on your behalf because. You are still living in the closet and I'm not going to call you out on it and I'm not going to drag you out of it. I'm just going to let you have it because I wouldn't appreciate it if someone dragged me out of the closet. But I guess our relationship is what actually dragged me out of the closet. Okay, so um, throughout the whole conversation, towards the end, I end up telling him my intentions of the whole text I sent him back last year in May, which was a hi, Sam. It was just me checking up on him like I told him that I just want to check up on you you were in my mind and I was like no let me check up on you this is what I do if I think about you I check up on you and I also told him that uh, I texted you now to, I replied to your text today because I was horny but texting to you talking to you right now and looking at your pictures I actually lost my appetite <laughs> like I actually told him that but part of the thing of being gay for so long like all of my life for the past 20 years is that I realized that you can't force things and you can't force people to be out of the closet you can't force people to be confident in themselves they need to find that within themselves and also realize that and also realize that if I lose my appetite I lose my appetite I also realized that my erection should not determine my direction Meaning whenever I'm horny, I shouldn't just start taking people because I want to fuck. I can be horny, beat my meat, and then I'll be good, okay? Just note to sub. If you want to hear more of my boring life stories, you can hit the subscribe button and you can ring that bell so they get a notification every time I post on my YouTube page. This is new for me and I hope, I'm hoping that I will grow with my family.